All right. So rapid fire questions. We're going to, we're almost done here. So these answers are just maybe one or two word answers uh, real quick. Are you ready, sir? Where's let's do it. All right. So question number one, favorite masters of the universe character. Um, rock on. Or, yeah. Rock on. Wow. Nice. When collecting, do you keep it carded or loose? Loose. All right. First toy you remember owning. Fisher Price Little People. Oh, Sesame by Street. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I saw that little Fisher Price dog that you had up there and that whole line. Oh, my God. That was so cute. Oh, back memories. Yeah. They, they are like these things. They're called pin mates. They are. Yes. So yes. Oh, oh yes. my God. I love that. Yeah. Sorry, just the, Actually, the rapid yeah, fire like, just complete. That's the one. Yeah. That's the one. The cute little dog. I love that one. All right, uh, number four. Favorite DC character. Green Lantern. Which one? Hal Jordan. All right. When do twin powers activate? Form of a tidal wave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a, that's the best question I've ever heard on a podcast ever. <laughs> Favorite hidden gem when collecting. Favorite hidden gem? Yeah, something that surprised you that you couldn't believe you got. Oh, a, a cabinet of Dr. Caligari action figure. Wow. German nice. Expressionist film, 1933, McFarlane Productions. Nice. You're that should not exist. <laughs> You're collecting Holy Grail. Uh, my JLU Hal Jordan figure, one of 120. Nice. Favorite Star Wars character? Obi-Wan Kenobi, episode four. Biggest surprise while working in the toy business? That 95% plus people in the toy business are just making consumer goods. Hmm, wow. Favorite actor to play Sherlock Holmes? Oh, Basil Rathbone. Oh, nice. Sorry, I'm Benedict, a, sorry. I'm a Jeremy Brett fan myself, so. I, I get into that a lot with people. <laughs> you have to display your many faces on the shelf which face you choose a monster robot or human human i just checked you just just the one i'm I assuming was, he has 13 more <laughs> well, oh, okay, last... i have my 84 many faces and he's on human right now, all right so. last question uh was the little known dc hero amazing man ever talked about in the dc universe line Amazing Man? No, Amazing Man. Not Amazing Man. Just Amazing oh, Man. Amazing. Uh, I will confess I've never heard of him. So <laughs> I answered my question. <laughs> I have no idea who you're favorite. talking about. That's okay. So I'm sorry. Nobody knows I apologize. what I'm talking about. He, he, he's rarely known. Thank you so I'm much. Gonna, now I'm going to look him up. Oh, amazing please man. do. It's it's apostrophe M Amazing Man. Uh, he's look. one of my favorite characters from the 80s. Uh, little guy who wore a big yellow helmet and just he was a do-gooder. He was like a, he's like the Don Quixote of superheroes with a with a talking dog, Denton. So Oh my god, why have I not heard of him? Because if I had, I bet we would have made this. It, oh that is it is adorable. Oh. I'm trying to collect the entire series. I got a couple of them already framed. It's one of my favorite characters when I was a kid. So uh, that yellow helmet yeah. and the, those glasses, that's fantastic. So I Thank apologize you. for not knowing about him. I, it's okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on our show and letting us, uh, just teaching us so much. Um, Spectre Creative on YouTube is uh, just an amazing um, YouTube channel. I learned so much from it. And uh, I, I, I know some of these questions, you could probably have gone on the channel and I st recommend you go on the channel, please, because uh, you learn so much. You, you, you start to understand a little bit more and your expectations of what you had going in are eventually dropped when you leave because you start to understand the business and you start to let go and, and realize that this is a bigger world than what you're, it's not going to be, it's not going to end the way you think it is. So to Spectre quote creative, Star Wars. lowering your expectations. No, not the, not the channel. It's <laughs> actually, <laughs> seriously, you, I, I've learned so much. And again, you also talk about certain Star Wars lines. It's never just one thing. It's a lot of different things. I just saw recently you had stuff about, um, oh, was that last year? Knock off action figures, which is some of my favorite stuff. Some of the, um, the, the, the forgeries and such, which yeah. is really cool. But um, so where can people find you, sir? 
Definitely. So while Spectra Creative is the name of the channel, it's also my business. Um, so definitely check out spectracreative.com. I consult for toy companies and actually other, other, I've done beauty products, I've done quilts, but a lot of my clients are toy related and they're usually either entrepreneurs or toy companies looking to develop branding, marketing, or content, especially for the toy category. And if you have an idea for a toy product and want help getting it to market, that's what I do. Awesome. Uh, Mac, while you're here, tell people where we can find you. Um, for now, just, uh, social media at Mike Tarkin. Mike Tarkin. And, uh, as for us, uh, you can find us at Generation X Wing Podcast on Instagram, Twitter. You can find uh, my, my show, The Outer Rim Rookie, uh, Beginner's Journey to Joining the 501st. Um, we, there will be a video coming up about our recent fundraiser for the BC Lung Association. And we climbed the Coquitlam Crunch in costume, in Star Wars, in Stormtrooper costume. A lot of fun. And uh, building my Rees costume as well. Uh, you can find that on Instagram and uh, Facebook. Thank you again, sir, for coming on the show. All the best to you. Enjoy the weather in, Carol in uh, North Carolina. And uh, we will be looking forward to seeing your next video. And enjoy the Toys R Us's in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk to you later. Bye. All right. It's been a pleasure. Thank you, guys. Mm -hmm.